Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM C tutorials. In this video, we'll see how to create a pattern using a table in the SOLIDWORKS. So here on the screen, we can see that we are having one plate and on the top of the plate, we are having one feature that is nothing but a hexagon extruded to some height. And let us say that we want to create multiple copies of this hexagon on the plate. Now, interesting thing over here is that the patterns of this hexagon is not having any pattern like it is not arranged in linear fashion or circular fashion or some other fashion it is random locations over the plate so when we are having a similar situation where we want to create a pattern of any feature that is not following any definite structure then the table pattern is one of the best options that we have in SOLIDWORKS so let's begin it So here on the screen we can have the plate, base plate and we are having one feature, the similar feature what we have and let us say I want to create multiple copies over the plate. So as we discussed that here we can use table pattern and one of the primary requirement of using the table pattern is that we should have one coordinate system that will guide us where to put the copies of this feature. And the second one is the location with respect to the coordinate system that we created. So in our example, we'll start by creating a coordinate system that will be located at this corner point. And then we'll define the location of each and every copy of this feature. So let us first create the reference coordinate system. And for that, we'll go to the reference geometry and click on the coordinate system. After that, we have to select a point or a vertex where we want to create the coordinate system. So obviously in our case, we want to create a coordinate system at this vertex. So we'll select this vertex. It is highlighted. Now, after selecting the vertex or a point where we want to create the coordinate system, we need to align the coordinate system based on our need. So here in our case, I want to have X axis parallel to this edge and y axis parallel to this edge. So here we can see that x axis is perfectly aligned, but y direction is perpendicular to the plate, but I need it parallel to this edge. So I'll simply select the y axis. I will select here this edge. So it will be aligned to this edge. Now again, here we can see that the negative y axis is aligned to the edge. But in my case, I need positive y axis. And for that, we can just click on this toggle button. So it will reverse the direction of the y axis. And now it is perfect. This is the x direction, this is the y direction. And then we can just click on the OK. So it will basically create a coordinate system with this edge as x axis and this edge as y axis. And this vertex will be having the coordinates of 0, 0. Now, whatever number of patterns that I want to create for this feature, I just need to have the coordinates of those locations. So let's begin by creating the table pattern. So first we'll go to the pattern drop down and we have to select here the table pattern. Once we select here the table driven pattern, here it will ask for some of the inputs. So as we discussed that the first input will be the coordinate system and there we can select here this coordinate system what we created. Once we'll select it will show over here the coordinate system. The second thing that we need to define is the bodies that we need to copy or the features that we need to copy. So in our case we'll select the bodies and just select this body. So after selecting the coordinate system after selecting the bodies to copy the next thing is to have the coordinates of those copy. And here you can define all the coordinates like X and Y pairs. So let me say uh, the second copy is having the coordinates of let's say 40 by 60 and press enter. So it will create a copy at 40, 60 coordinate. Let us say I want to create another copy at let us say point of x equals to 90 and y equals to 20 it will create another copy and likewise we can create number of copies by just entering the coordinates of the 
copy so here we can have the copies based on the selected reference point so by default the reference point will be the centroid of the volume but we can select any point over the feature and we will use the point as a reference point so this is the first method by which we can create the table pattern another interesting feature of creating the table pattern is by using a predefined table so let us say that in my case i already know the coordinates of the centroid of the copies that i want to create uh, as shown over here so i want to create five copies of this feature at this predefined locations so in that case what we need to do is we just need to create a text file uh, having the x and y coordinate with tab in between and then we have to just save it as a text file or txt file once the file is created what we can do is we can again go to the linear pattern and select here the table driven pattern now here we can see the browse option we can just click on the browse we can go to the desktop and here we can select the text file so it will be here like pattern data and open so we can see here all the coordinates of the patterns to be created and similarly we have to just select the coordinate system we have to select the bodies to copy and based on this location of the copies it will generate the pattern and we can just click on ok now let us say that if i want to add another few copies i can just do it easily like say i want to create one more pattern at 145 comma let us say 100 so it will create one more copy that is this one and after creating all this copy we can save it also by just clicking on the save button and again we can import the same data or locations and just click on ok i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button and subscribe to this channel cadcam ce tutorials thanks